It was a historic eight-day trip in three Latin American countries. It included long plane rides, masses, and a long list of speeches. Along with that, it included plenty of moving moments along the way. In Ecuador, the Pope visited a local chapter of the Sisters of Charity. Following the charism of their founder, Mother Teresa, they care for the elderly day in and day out. After greeting the elderly one by one, the Pope then joked around with the nuns. And once outside, he made it a point to bless the crowds who were cheering for him. Como universidad, como centros educativos, como docentes y estudiantes, la vida nos desafía a responder a estas dos preguntas. ¿Para qué nos necesita esta tierra? ¿Dónde está tu hermano? Once in Bolivia, more highlights followed. The story that made its way around the globe was this gift. Evo Morales gave the Pope a crucifix tied to the international symbol of communism. And another day, the Pope spoke to massive groups who are part of Catholic popular movements. More than anything, he highlighted the social doctrine of the Catholic Church. Quiero ser muy claro como lo fue San Juan Pablo II. Pido humildemente perdón, no solo por las ofensas de la propia Iglesia, sino por los crímenes contra los pueblos originarios durante la llamada conquista de América. Then came the third and final stage of his trip in Paraguay. After a colorful welcome to the country, the Pope visited a local hospital. It moved not just the patients to tears, but also many of their family members. As he celebrated Mass in Paraguay, the Pope also honored the role women played in that country's history. When men were out fighting wars, he said it was women who moved the country forward. Ustedes tienen la memoria, ustedes tienen la genética de aquellas que reconstruyeron la vida, la fe, la dignidad de su pueblo. Dios bendiga ese tesón. Dios bendiga y aliente la fe de ustedes. Dios bendiga a la mujer paraguaya, la más gloriosa de América. The Pope seemed to feel at home during his visit. After all the greetings and ride-alongs in the Pope Mobile and huge crowds, he probably got a bit of a preview of what he can expect when he visits the U.S. and Cuba in September.